right, now we have our last and final guest for today's show, Shayna. Come on down. Welcome. You match our set beautifully. Oh, yay. You must have got the memo. Um, I don't have a lot of bright colors, so this was kind of the best I could do. <laughs> Love it. Well, how can we help you today? And tell us a little bit about yourself. So I am a wedding photographer in Boston, and I felt for a couple years that there's something that feels almost like a calling to me. Um, there have been like people that have come in my path and things that have happened that feel like they're reinforcing. This is like a gift to you and a gift to other people. Um, but I just feel like very stalled on it. Like I thought it was gonna happen this way or that way and everything kind of, nothing has really happened. <laughs> um, so yeah. So what would the ideal outcome for the mind be today? In the next 15 minutes. <laughs> well, I mean, for the mind yeah. to know what action to take. Okay, yeah. done. All right, got her heart feeler. I'm oh, um, good. All right, so what I'm gonna do is just start asking. First, I'm gonna make sure we get a good feel for it. How familiar are you with your inner voice and in doing it? Sometimes okay. I think there's some beautiful wisdom coming from me, and sometimes I'm like, I don't know, is that okay. my inner voice? We're a, little, we're a little hot and cold, a little spotty mm -hmm. weather. All right, so. We're going to say, am I safe? Yes. Am I OK? <laughs> yes and no. OK, how am, I, how am I OK? Yes, how yes? You're safe. How not? <laughs> Deep breath out. OK, you're OK. You're OK. Do you want me to take action on this idea I have for my career? If it's fun. If it's fun action or if the path is fun? Fun action. Fun action. Is this a path I should continue going down? Like a yes, but. There's hesitation. Why is the mind getting interference on this question? Good job with the breathing. I'm not sure. What's the mind? So, okay, this is great, right? This is like you got a hot topic. You're trying to get in there. And the mind is also blocking because it's terrified of the answers. Is that how you're feeling? The answers and the audience. Yeah, OK. <laughs> <laughs> We're all here for you, right? <laughs> OK. It's so true, right? So let's just go right now, instead of going for the jugular on the question that is like the deepest one, right? Like, should I marry him or not, or whatever. Let's go with, it's like, should I marry this career? All right, why is the mind so dialed up about this topic? Before you even asked the question, you said, why is the mind? I just heard giving. Giving, okay, what is the mind giving? Or what does giving mean? Here, you want to give this? Give the project, or to do the, the thing you want to do? Mm -hmm. Does that come from the deeper part of me, that desire to give? Yes. OK. So that sounds like a good thing to do? Yes. Why is there resistance in the mind on the subject? How? Does, do you know how it should unfold? The inner, inner voice. voice. I hear yes. Okay, what should I do? Next. Allow. Allow, okay. Well, that's like the first thing, right? It's like, it's bottled up. So the first thing you do is like release the resistance. What should I allow? Allow yourself to give, play, joy. This is not a 10 point plan on how to start an Instagram <laughs> following. <laughs> right, that's what the mind's saying. Why is that the most useful thing for me to do next? Unfold. Unfold, what does unfold mean? So I see a picture, it's like a path and I'm just like looking at a flower or like I'm not actually walking, I'm just sort of like <laughs> admiring it. 
just admiring your life. This is never going anywhere. This has got 80 years to 100 years, and it's like, I gotta, it's like, what is it? Is it like segments, and then you're just like marathoning your way to death? Like, that's what the My mind does. Like, run, run. It's like point A to point B, B to C, C to D. You make the goals, you make your list, you make your things. All you're doing is A to B, B to C, C to D, until you die. That's the mind's way of enjoying that path. But it's like, look at the flower. So the most useful thing for me to do right now around my career is... I just heard take pictures. Take pictures. You mean that's it? I just gotta take pictures? I mean that is what I After that. <laughs> what does your mind say to that? Um it's just like, well, how are these pictures gonna lead to like what you want to be? Okay, doing? down. Ask that question. Say it out loud so everyone knows what question you're asking and bobble it down. So how will taking pictures lead me to taking the kind of pictures that I want to be taking? I heard like open or like maybe the way will open. So it'll show, it'll be shown to me. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> yes. Do no. I need to worry that I will do a bad job? <laughs> My mind is just like, right? you're worried, worried. you're worried. <laughs> yeah, it's worried it's not going to do a good job. And if you're supposed to have a TV show, then, you know, if I don't have a TV show, then I did a bad job. This unfolded. I'm wondering if it's the same for your next project. So this is not my intuition, but there was something you said right lately about there are three kinds of no, yeah. the not now, the Yeah, not you want me right, to share? Yeah. If you have an important <laughs> no, let's say something happens to you and it's really, it like gut wrenches you. You're like, that was really deep as a no. Like you didn't get the job, the partner, or whatever it was. There's three reasons I, I don't know why these things came to me a long time ago, my 20s, but I realized intuitively, I guess, that it's either not right now, so the project will, or person will show back up later. Not the right one, so it's a different person. Or not what would make you really happy. So consider those three. You can ask your inner voice which one it is as an option, too. Which resonated with you in this moment? I think not right now. Not right now for that project. Yeah. Is it okay that I don't go 100 miles an hour at that project right now? Yes. Why is it okay? I heard time. Time. So what's the time right, what's time right now for? Focus. Focus on what? The first thing that came in was just now. Just focus on the now. Like right now you don't need to take pictures. You're in a TV show. <laughs> <laughs> I do have my camera, but no. Yeah, it, it, wait, wait, here, should I take pictures right now? No. no. So, will it become abundantly, obviously clear when the pictures should start happening? I think my mind kind of interfered. There. Okay, where, where's the resistance on, on hearing that answer from um, the mind? Just like not trusting that it will become abundantly obvious. Okay, well, can I trust you to tell me when to take the photos? If you ask. So all I have to do is just keep asking? Yeah, yes, listen. That's it? <laughs> it always tells me to listen. What does listening mean? She just said it always tells me to listen. So that's one of those like try. Even though we think breathing is pretty obvious or listening. Let's see, what, what does listening mean? Be here now. That's what listening means? Yes. Interesting. Not exactly what the mind might assume is listening. Can I ever do this wrong? <laughs> I heard a yes, but I think it was from my okay. mind. Okay, did I hear Did I hear the yes from my mind or my inner yes. voice? Okay. <laughs> like... Oh, my mind? I've watched it in a recent subject for months. It's a repetitive reflex for my mind to project down, and it's happened so many times that I'm now like, it's a psychopath. I know the answer to this. It won't stop asking the question, but I know the awareness It's watching this ridiculous question because I've seen it too many times. Did I do it wrong? No. Did I get that wrong? Did I get that wrong? Did I do it wrong? Did I, I just like constantly ask, and I know I've done it like a thousand times now. I'm like, I know the answer, but I'm watching this neural net still fire, even though I'm not even giving it any conscious energy. I keep hearing trust. Trust. Trust what? Yourself. 
What is myself? Where, where am in myself? Where in myself do I place my trust? I heard all. All. Do I need to trust the mind? Yes and no. How should I trust the mind? Good breathing. Safety? It's here to keep me safe? Yes. Does my photography next chapter involve safety? Yes and no. How yes. So where is the mind safety in that project needed? Expansion. Expansion. And it's going to keep me safe in that expansion? Yes. How not needed? How is it not needed? Fear. Fear. What is the mind fearing? Listen to the, what is the inner voice's answer for why does the mind fear this next chapter? Enough. That you will be enough if you. I think it was yeah, like that I'm not enough. enough. Yeah. The mind is never enough. If you think about it, like that's not the, to, not to the consciousness, but am I enough? You are enough. Is the mind enough for what it is? Right. It's right. Sort of like, yeah. <laughs> Why does the, I'm actually, this is a kind of a general question we can all learn from. Why does the mind fear being enough so much? Too big. Too big. What's too big? Um, I saw like, like a trapeze and like a safety net, <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> what does that mean? Beautiful. I love that you shared that you saw it. No of net. Pardon? No net. <laughs> okay. What are you realizing right now? Actually, I'm, this is not a question. This is actually to the mind now. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. You're so in it. I love that. Do you see how deep she was in it? She was just receiving and just sharing and just receiving. That's beautiful. You were th that deep that it took me to actually wake you out of it, if you will. That's great. How are you feeling about all this now? Um, it's like up here there's this, and down here there's like peace. This Before is, this did is you the have, audience. This is yeah. my... Um, feeling about what we're talking the about. The project. So the project's feeling? In my mind. Well, I still don't know. <laughs> like, yeah, but do I need to be. know? Right now? The mind says yes. Unfolds. So the inner being knows in the now. It lives in the now. So we'll give you the information to do it in the now, because that's where it's living. This wants to project into the past and the future. All it's doing is like strobing back and forth between the past and the future, past and the future. It's not living in the now, that's right in the middle. It's looking everywhere but the one thing that right now is. And it's leaning in your situation very heavily in the future. Mm -hmm. Like when, 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 when. Mm -hmm. And it's saying now, 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 just be at the TV show and then go home and then brush your teeth and then go to bed and then you know, and then one day it's going to say, take pictures. And it's just to take the picture. It's not to write the five-point marketing plan that day. Yeah, I think it's not the trust in my mind that I can do the thing. It's more about, like, finding someone who will allow me to do this for them or with them. Okay, because do you want to share exactly just quickly what that is? Yeah, uh, I want to do hospice photography, so for families and people who are dying to kind of be there and document and tell their story and... It's sort of a bigger goal of, I want people to feel more comfortable with death as a part of life. Okay, so it is really, I got some, get some, anyone escape goosebumps? Because what just came through in that was just me saying that, okay, now, what was your first thing right before that was, I don't know how I'm gonna find people to shoot? <laughs> okay, so now we've just put it out to this audience and this audience. Let's see what happens. <laughs> You might have just solved it in one question. <laughs> that would be cool. <laughs> and wait, and what did your inner voice say to do? Just be here on the show right now. Where was the answer? Being on the show right now. <laughs> that was not planned, obviously, by 
anything. And I knew this was your project, but we didn't bring it up because you just kind of kept dancing around it until exactly that moment where it felt relevant to share. But it was the moment after you shared, I don't know how I'll find someone. But that wasn't mentally, in you or I, unfolding. I feel like my whole body is tingling. <laughs> <laughs> Alignment bumps, we've got them. You are being carried to this path for you. The mind wants to run there when you're being carried. It's like you're a little kid with your legs kicking while your parent is carrying you. <laughs> Does that make sense? Is that the you? mind is like, this little kid is kicking the legs, and the parent is just taking the kid to the bedroom. You're being carried. You're flow. That's literally flow. I flowed into this show 10 years later, and my mind would not have even, I don't know what it would have done if it knew it was going to take 10 years. Thank God I didn't hold on to that one. But it unfolded in the perfect time, and in the perfect time that it could combine with your river for this new aspect. So for those that are interested, whether in the audience or on the show, we'll have your information at the end so that people can find you. Okay. <laughs> Did you have a realization while watching? We want to hear about it. Please send us a message at realizations at jesslively.com. May something wonderful happen to you today.